Hello, students. This week, we'll be working in uh, on an online program called everfi.com. Everfi.com. You guys should have this page that I sent you already, and it's going to have the login code for every class, for a first block class, for certain classes, financial literacy. Here it is. Uh, the Endeavor program. Here it is, the login programs. Uh, it goes all the way through second, third, uh, that's third block classes, fifth block class, you should see them all in here. All have different codes. And they're gonna go into this program. We're gonna be wind up with the EverFi program right here online. We're gonna be doing the EverFi financial literacy, learning about uh, finances, the vault program, learning about money. Venture is an entrepreneurship program. And then there is the Endeavor, which is a STEM career exploration program. You're gonna work in each of those programs a little bit every day, just a little bit. Uh, you'll complete every day. But first, we're going to get logged in. And so that's where this comes in about how you get logged in. So I'm going to show you how very simple it is. You're going to simply go to everfi.com. You're typing everfi. Let me just pop it from right here. Everfi.com. And it should bring you to a login page. Uh, there it says student teacher, student teacher says login. Click that. And it should bring you to this EverFi platform login. Once that comes up, you see it's loading up here, EverFi platform. You're going to register for the class. You don't have an account? Sign up. You're going to click register. You're going to put in the code that um, that I've been given that you've been given already. Uh, so you start with the first code that you have. Let's say um, we're doing first block, so we'd start with uh, the financial literacy. So I'm gonna just gonna double click that, copy and paste it, and I'm going to input that into here. There's the code. Boom. It's gonna ask me for the date of birth. I'm just gonna put in January uh, one, two thousand one. Just making up a fictitious person here. All right, Erica. Height. Username is not necessary. I'm going to create a username for myself. Your username is going to be your first initial last name. Okay. Uh, if it if it come up and it says it's already been used, then you just add letters to your name. Just something that, that so so it's easily easily recognizable. If air if e height was was not available, I put an eri height. Okay. Uh, your password is going to be your date of birth. So mine's going to be zero one zero one zero one my password you type it zero one zero one zero one your password is going to be your date of birth so that you won't have you'll, you'll always remember it okay so don't forget your password is going to be your date of birth so you come back to past height what's my uh password you forgot it well it should be your date of birth so don't change that at all so always make it your date of birth agree to the terms hit next bam the module comes in that's the one i just did financial literacy remember I put in the code for financial literacy. Uh oh, I put in the code for financial literacy, and that's the one that came up. But now I have to get these other classes in here as well. So how do I get these classes in here? Very, very simple. I simply type in wrong place. I simply type in add a course, the next course code in here. Okay. So you just go to the very next course. Uh, in first block students, you're gonna for endeavor. There's the course code. I copied it. I paste it in here and hit add. It asked me again for my date of birth, January 01, 2001. It already has my, um, my, my username. Again, address is not necessary. It says optional, so don't need mess with it. Hit next and bam, the Endeavor course is in there. I want to add my next course. You're going to add four courses to the EverFi. Next course I add in. First block is my um, vault. Command C. Copy it. Paste it up here. Add my date of birth again, January 01, 2001. Boom. Easy greasy. There it is. The next course is already in there. There's Vault, there's Endeavor, 
There's financial literacy. Last course I'm going to add in will be my uh, STEM. First block, venture. I'm sorry, venture uh, course. Copy and paste it. Copy it. Paste it over here. Boom. Click add. January. 01. Put my date of birth in here again. 01. And now I have all four courses in and I am ready to get started. And so then for on mine as a teacher, what I'm going to see is that I have one student who's added to my class. I'm going to be able to track all your courses throughout this uh, whole process. So this video was simply to show you how to get logged into Everify. So go ahead and uh, you'll stop the video. We're going to end. There should be some questions at the end of the form about how you log into Everify. And then I need you all to log into Everify. That is a grade to get logged into the Everify using your course code, which you have. We have a block in first, second, third, uh, fifth, sixth, or eighth block. You have four classes. Everybody has the same four financial endeavor, endeavor vault, venture. Financial endeavor, vault, venture. Class to get logged into. Get logged into that. Uh, your page should wind up looking very similar to mine. And then we'll go to the next step. Step one, logging into Everify. Let's get logged in right now so that your page looks like this. All right? Go for it.